Hi there. Um, welcome to Simpkins Gamer or Gaming Plays Stone Shards. Um, this is an early access game. Um, I played it probably around over, well, probably over a year or so now. Really enjoyed it. Got about 20 or tw uh, 22 hours of gameplay out of it. And then got to the end. I played like a Fire Mage character. Um, and I'm really kind of interested to see what the game uh, has done over the last year of development. It's only a small development team, so I know the progress has been quite short. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump straight in, really. Um, uh, oh, okay. So we'll get a new game. Yeah, I am. I'm going to put permadeath on again. Absolute sick of a punishment. Let's see, because this is this is what really got me into like thinking about this game originally when it first came out. Because I heard that it was like completely brutal, um, which I'm totally with. So I'm going to play the prologue. I'll put Stone Chad prologue intro slash prologue um, on this, and then if I get past the prologue, if I don't die, um, I'll then put it on. So if anyone wanted to not watch the prologue if you've played it before, people that haven't played it before, it's probably best to watch this episode because. Um, the prologue's quite nice. It kind of builds on the world a little bit, I guess. Okay. Damn it. Where am I? Yeah. You are awake. Just in time for the ritual. We'll have a use for you. So very soon. Don't try anything funny or you'll end up like one of your friends. Perhaps I should check on him again. All that fresh blood. I must have drained by now. Yeah. Curses. Doesn't look like we won that fight. I need to get out of here before this bastard returns. Hmm. Looks like my shackles are rusted to the core. Can't remember what any button is. Ah. Open inventory. Just remove them. They're not worth anything, so just put them. Examine the cell. Poor Locke. Your bad feeling was spot on this time. They didn't search him. Bad move. No offense, buddy. But you won't need all these things anymore. Certainly won't. Bread, yeah, so you get hungry, thirsty. Uh, Lock picks. Lovely. You're suffering from hunger and thirst, the stronger you, they are, the worse. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So you have to eat. Uh, drink. Eat. Lovely. And occasionally you'll encounter locked doors to open them, you can, yeah. I believe I've got the uh, lockpick kit. So I'll just right click that there. I hope I'm not a lone survivor. I've got to arm myself and find the rest. Yeah. And uh, what's this? So obviously I, for your standard um, stuff, I can't remember if there's like, ah, there we are. So alt would be the, uh, cool, I'll be using that quite a lot, it seems. So I think it's like turn-based as well. Um... I'm just going to pick these locks because you never know. Okay. I love that it's got permadeath so much. Oh, I can see I'm going to be punching walls after this. <laughs> cool. So, equip. No, don't equip, sorry, but that, that's quite handy. The cages are unlocked. Blood trails are fresh. Looks like everyone was taken somewhere. Seems like I was the only one to be left in the dungeon. That's strange. Yeah. Very strange. You could be deceived into thinking that this could be a fast-paced game, but it's, it's certainly not. It's turn-based. So you, you have time to consolidate you your thoughts. You are dead! Hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, beautiful. Um, what we got here? Dual wielding for now. Okay. Burn. Bled to death. Such a foolish way to go. Looks like there is a trap. I have to take a look around unless I want to share his fate. Okay, so I'm looking around. There's a trap there. Oh. So right, mo right mouse button. Get that. Lovely. Let's equip that. Is that a sash? It is. So it's good to have one because then I can just. Damn! I forgot about my leg. Hurts more and more. I need to find something to treat the wound before it festers. Okay. Pain and minor leg injury. So it's... Yeah. All these boxes will surely find something in them. Yeah. So it's kind of got hints of Diablo, hints of Dungeons and Dragons, hints of <laughs> Zelda. Uh, whatever, really. There's quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, can use this to patch up my leg. So C. Oh, we got the health. Ah, C. So Venus. Health, hunger, first intoxication, pain, mental health. Me is like yeah. Yeah, and quite a bit of pain. You get injured when your body parts condition drops below a certain threshold. On top of that, the worse your body parts condition is, the lower your max health threshold becomes. You should start with stabilising your injury. However, over your right leg's condition, or hover over it, yeah. Yeah. And play. Cool. Um, I kind of Switch weapons. Lovely. Oh. Yeah, that's just. I've just taken some ether. So ether? And hell yeah. So I just took some drugs. I'm. Um, Yeah, I'm just a bit vulnerable from that, really. That's all right. So I've just leveled up. Okay. Ah, oh, so we get the stats. I want to look at the skill trees. 
Yeah, so with this guy, you kind of need a little bit of... What's that? Skin in. Don't need that. No, down here. Shields. Okay. Yep. Looks like we haven't got any powers yet. So I'll probably just put vitality on. How much how many points have I got? Okay, we're just gonna boost up our vitality for now until we've made the decision to level up. I'm just gonna keep those points there. Um oh yeah. Thirst, intoxication. Mm. Bah, a pyromantic treatise. Just like the good old times in the academy. Got to recall a spell or two. Yeah, so like, let's take that anyway, because it's... Yeah. Yeah, let's take fire barrage. So you get, yeah, so you've got different volumes, I believe. Hmm. Dear friend, we may not know each other, but considering that you opened this term, I'll take a wild guess and assume that you intend on learning the ancient art of piracy. The art I came to master after years. Um, yeah, it's just a book, just... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we'll move on. Although I would like to... Okay, we keep that sells for a little bit as well, I think. So that does mean here, pyromancy, confirm. So we've got the fire barrage. Someone's there. Okay. Can we? See if they've upgraded any more of the spells as well for Paramancy. I am intrigued. What we got? Hmm. <laughs> I love that melting ray. Yeah, I quite like to give Geomans here a little while. What we got here? So, this little guy here, let's read it. Oh, third reaping. Our oh, brothers toiled well today. I hope that the coming harvest will recompense us for our hard work as it did last year. Another few bountiful seasons and we should be able to save enough gold to patch our shabby cloister. Patience and diligence are truly the greatest virtues. Fifth of reaping. This night brother Albert went down with a sudden fever. The heat from his body is so severe one can burn a hand on him. I have no idea how he managed to catch a cold like this. Perhaps he worked in the rain. Wouldn't be his first time. I left a couple of brothers by Albert's side and sent a man shout over a healer. Herbal poultices and earnest prayers should be more than enough to cure his ailment. Six reaping. Since the last night, brother Albert has stopped recognising any of us. He keeps on babbling some nonsense, but no one can make any sense of it. The healer spent an entire night by his bedside, tried all of his potions, but it was no use. We ended up paying him and sending him back. If Albert doesn't get there soon, it will be his funeral we'll have to pay for. Brother Herb is sick as well. 
It's not cold. Mm. Ooh. Let's see what this is. Ten free pin. The miasma of this horrible disease now permeates through the entire monastery. Half our brothers are delirious. Their bodies are riddled with scabs and boils. Blood is seeping through their pores, and we can't do anything to ease their suffering. I declared a quarantine and ordered to lock down everyone who showed signs of the disease in the catacombs. Sounds a bit like the UK at the moment, but I fear it's all in vain. The rest will go down sick in a couple of days. The host give me strength to persevere and save our congregation. Could have sent that off to Boris a few years, but over a few months back. Um, anyway, moving on. The archives. All right, so we've got some more dirty pages. Okay. Let's do some looting and then let's, you know, get into it. Identification scrolls. Very good. Yeah, so some items are cursed. I just don't. Like, I stuck that thing on like a bloody plunker, didn't I, earlier? No space for that. Let's get that shit. What is that anyway? Okay. Okay, so what we got? That's good. <clears throat> the 14th Reaping. Today the entire neighbourhood gathered around our monastery. The Hilo had brought the disease back to Manshire. Blood was leaking from their eyes. They were hopelessly sick. I prohibited anyone to go outside. Then they tried to break in. A few brothers lost their lives, but we managed to push them back from the gates. When the crazed crowd tried to burn us alive along with the building, I had to break the quarantine and bring even the healthy brothers into the catacombs, truly out of the frying pan and into the fire. So that's that page. This one's got blood on it. Blood gets into my eyes and drips down on the parchment. We are doomed in these sinister deaths. Even time itself flows differently. <laughs> I've lost the count of days. When was the last time I left my cell? A couple of hours ago? A day? A week? I may be the only one who's still alive. Every night I'm haunted by visions as the candlelight fades. So they Something shadowy, oh, light fades, shadowy figures step out from the darkness. Their wheedling whispers drive me crazy. The host is silent, the host is deaf to our prayers. The host betrays us. Where do I seek strength to fight? Back to the temptation? To break the oath? A cure? A cure? All I ask for is to be cured. Thanks. So who is this person that's writing these? It's obviously one of the head honchos for um, the monastery, I guess. The tutorial's complete now, you're on your own, survive. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, have we anything fun in it? Ah, I love this. The most distinctive tradition of the Nistrian cult. So this is going on about... Um, is it druid stuff? Do you, yeah. Uh, which I know nothing of. So um, we, when we level up next, we'll have a little peek. So now I'm just going to do a bit of dungeon crawling. And let's see if I um, I don't go ahead and die. So I'm a bit like a basically I've I've set myself up as a bit of a battle mage, you know. Some gold. I'm sure I'm not going to survive to use a little bit more gold. I'm sure I'm not going to be able to use that. <laughs> it's a little pyre there. This is nice. I don't think I've seen this area before. Um, Okay, I wonder if I can, can I, no, can I, imagine if I could, no. So this guy's going to come, yeah, can I shoot through walls like a ninja? Oh. Well, I'm an absolute shite archer. Oops. Oh. Right, 
This guy's kicking my ass. Uh, he's kicking my ass. over this kid that was really close okay so I've got flare on now that's cool I need to really start thinking about oh wait can I rest Okay. That's no point. Um, so what I do need to do though really is so Not much. I'm being quite low on healing self. Yeah, so the, the idea of this is that there's been some kind of pestilence and um, it came to the monastery first. Well, the monks went out to the village. Affected the villagers. And, um, yeah. Came back one in a bit, didn't it? What's this? Just uh, equip my arrow. Well, no, see, because I'm going to have to bump things with my mace. Oh, chest. Please have some potions in there. Pick. Pick. Yes. Silver plate. I mean, great if I survive. <laughs> and what I love about this is there's no. Uh... I'm safe. again. <laughs> I can't hit anything, can I? Ooh. There's, there's a nifty that's my light out. Ooh, battle cleaver. Let's rest while we can. We're going to have to salve ourselves up in a minute. <clears throat> so we will... Um, Add some more salve because he, he nicked us on our hand. Then we're gonna drink some water to get rid of the first. And um, we're gonna have to find some food. Let's just throw that because it's just getting in my way. What's going on there? Ah. Someone can hear me. Okay, I think, I would assume. What's this? Oh, that's handy. Antitoxin. I just, I just accidentally drank it. So actually, I'm going to give you some advice here. You press... Yeah, you press all on a thing and you you, um, you absolutely drink that. And I now I probably have a hangover. As I do many things in my life, I'm going to tackle this one drunk. It gives me a little bit of Dutch courage. 
Oh, so I'm moving the wrong way. That was funny. What's that? Curse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we've gone up a level. Geomancery. I said, I'm just going to go for straight up, straight up combat thing. Let's have it. I don't really want old combat mastery. What kind of goes down here? Stance. Yeah, okay, so this seems to be... Well, I'm gonna be a shield and swordsy kind of man. Which means I need a little bit of strength, maybe a little bit more constitution, because I'm gonna be amongst it. Gonna wish I'd just sober up a little bit, eh? <laughs> Well, that's me on that healing salve. Um, let's throw that, let's throw that. I've got a bit more peace of mind then. Food though. I feel my tummy rumbling. Give it a little search, see if anything's in there. Ah, uh, oh, a beetroot. Can you eat that? Yeah. Maybe not that good enough. Uh, okay. okay. The tremors are coming from upstairs. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up, whatever it takes. Yeah. Let's take all of that stuff. What is... Potion, a painkilling potion. I'm not got much food. Old contract. With this paper, we, Bars the Elder, and every denizen of Manshire pledge to pay a bounty of 1,000 crowns to every man, be it a commoner, a mercenary, or a noble knight, who will take on the task of descending into the Abbey of the Holy Revelation, cleanse it from the spirits of other filthy inhabitants in it, and return back safe and sound with a proof of their dude, dude, <laughs> of their deed, no later than a month from this day. We hereby sign this, 7th of Bloom. That must be a date. Very good. What's he got here? Bollock dagger? Hey? You gotta have one of them. The gamblers of Elmdor like to say, keep an eye, ace up the sleeve and a dagger down your boat. Bollock, dagger. Hmm, why not? Yeah. So we've got a little bit more armor. But, oh, I shouldn't have my bow and arrow out. Let's give it a search. What does that mean then, sir? Ray shield, any else? So it's just a, 
a temporary thing. Where is the enemy? There. Lovely. Oh, it's a bat. Uh. No, 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 don't go that far. <laughs> Something else down there. What is it? Oh! Well, this guy nearly had me pants down last time I had a fight with one of them. Let's have him. Do I want to put my shield up there? Shift the rail. Oh god. Oh, it stunned me. Oh, hello. Right, we need to run back here a bit and rest. If we can. Hungry and we're thirsty. I can do something about the first. We can go ahead and have a nice little drink there. Um, <sighs> this is not as. Yeah. There's not really, is there anything we could have? We got anything else to, uh... oh yeah, we do actually. We've got the, um, the salve. Ooh, we took a big one to the head. You right, sausage? Let's rest it again just for a second. Kind of exploded a bit, didn't he? Much better. Much better. Just get charged in. Oh yeah, we taught oh, victory. <laughs> I love that. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna drink some water. carrying a lot of useless weapons around with me. I've got a carrot on the other hand. I am peckish. <laughs> yeah? He's retreating. That's that's actually a new bit of um, content, I think. Yeah. What I love about permadeath as well is it makes you feel really kind of quite precious about your character. And I, I think that just adds to the gameplay. Pick. Yeah. What we got here? Yeah, we'll just put it on for now. We've got nothing better to do. I'll eat that. I'll take that. Oh, well, we've got 100, so you can only have stacks of 100.
Yeah. Okay. So that's where we're going to go, but we, we're going to finish uh, clearing this area because I want every little bit of... Uh... Oh, hello. I'll save the fireball for this little guy. And then kind of lure him away a bit so I can redo my fireball again. <laughs> well, is he healing up? Well, if that's the case. A little bit of rustic tumble. Oh, look at that. It's gone up a level as well. I'm just going to make sure the cost is clear, which is. Again, we were in. Yeah, so willpower is going to add to your mana, perception, range, damage, crit chance is, you know, obviously good, uh, agility. Yeah, it's at the moment I'm just all about. I mean, agility is a good one actually, to be fair, but I want a bit more vitality. Um, what have we got here? Oh, okay, that's quite good. So, um, receiving unblocked attacks reduces this ability's tree at a cool, cool dark passive burn. Well, I'm going to use that for now as well, actually, because it means that I can keep, keep, keep propping that ray shield so I can really, you know, start blocking. <laughs> what are these earrings? Lovely. I don't think you can move around the map. Can you even get the map up? <laughs> I don't know. Crown. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna get in there and hit him because I'm in any armor I can get. Yeah. No. <laughs> kind of rushed in there a little bit. I'm going to, yeah. See if I can pull these guys down here a bit. I don't want to, I don't want to um, over aggro. I might one shot it. Nice corner. <laughs> and I'm gonna probably get one more pop at him. Nah, I haven't got any mana left. Pull my shields out. Yeah. Who's that about? What's this? Optimistic. So I've, I'm a bit psyched up now. I'm like, yeah. Looks <laughs> having a bit of this. Yeah? Okay. Way it's going, because I haven't got any mana left. Use my optimism. What's he dropped? Oh, yeah, what's Get rid of the bollocks dagger as well. Bollocks to it. Oh, yeah, that couldn't have come at a better time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously our mana pool's pretty low. So, uh, it's not too much about that though, does it? 
do for now. I wonder where my experience bar is. Well, we're about just over halfway there. Read. Does that? I'm just going around on the nick now, aren't I? Oh, no, that's interesting. Okay. I'll just leave all these bits here. I'm probably going to end up throwing things out my inventory soon. Because I don't have an awful lot of space. Oh! I guess it's... Shot. I mean, that's really good. Let's just get rid of some of these bits that aren't too useful. And who am I kidding? I don't think we're going to be able to go anywhere to sell these bits. I think this is just basically a nice little interlude. Let's just get rid of some stuff. It looks a bit nonsense. Eh? I think just clearing this part of the dungeon and potentially not look, look, looking like a mug to anybody that's watching, if they are watching, um, is basically the aim of the game right now. Um, I have cards. So I could be wrong. I oh, know, I am wrong. We've got a little bit left to clear. Oh. Whoops, and then also... Uh, Okay. No. Yeah, how enjoyable. It's a lovely little game, this. Um, reasonably, reasonably hard. But, but more so in the way that you, you're just gonna die. And I don't want to do that because this guy already has one life. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, let's see what this is about, hey? Yeah, so we're gonna have to...
Potentially, I do, yes. Send into the host have mercy. Given that, he's got some health. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> he's got a lot of health. I'm gonna get you. Stop eating bodies. <laughs> I mean, I'd be annoyed, but I'm just impressed. There he goes again. Let's inspect him. Is he losing any health? I'm starving still, look at me. Not a good meal in ages, don't eat another body. I think he's just trying to test my patience if I'm going to be honest with you. Fair one. Oh, 
come on. That's bad. Cheeky, are you? Oof. Well, I can't afford to take another hit off him. <laughs> Don't know how I'm going to do this. It's going to have to be like that, isn't it? <laughs> Get lost. Oh, well, we're well, burn our own fire and brimstone at his then. But I can't get close enough to, to chop him down. Yay! <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't going to do that then, you know. Yeah. Good. Now is not the time. We have the stone shard. Let's get out of here. What the hell's that to do? What's the stone shard? Here we go. Do I have a little magic? Let's just get out of here. Put my bow away. I don't think they were cannibals. Are you out of your mind? Do you think I was lying to you? When I swore that the monastery had been deserted for decades. Mm. So you're saying that your Gwenel set us up for certain death? I... I don't know. I hope not. It's some kind of mistake. This mistake cost half our men their lives. I know. I have many questions too. And believe me, once we are done with the contract, Gwynel will answer each and every one of them. No, Varen. This is where we part. The caravan is no more. Rinward, Aruz, and I are going back to Bryn. After all these years, I've just saved your hides. All ye did was save us from the trap you let us into. We always used to know where and what our jobs were. But once you started rubbing elbows with Gwynel, there was no end to our misfortune. I want to know what Gwynel is hiding. 
why he needs stone shards, and what these damn stone shards are to begin with. And yet, we don't have the slightest idea about anything, while you only care about money. But there is no paying death off. I'm done. You are free to go. But I am bound by the contract. I'll manage without you. Get lost. Oh, bloody hell, tough love. Tough love. Well. So here I am. I'm going to leave it at that. This is basically where we get at the, um, the end of it. I'll pick it back up again. Um, I mean, I'm mainly focusing at the moment on my playthrough of Wasteland 3, which I'm kind of plodding away through nicely. Um, I've just actually found a way I'm going to minimise the size of my files that I'm posting out, actually. So um, it'll make uploading quicker ways before I was struggling to get, like, four out. Like, if I wanted to know, I can plough out, like, eight or nine... Um, Episodes probably in a day, easy. Um, and I'm still in lockdown, so I've got plenty of time to do it. Anyway, no, no, guys. Bye bye.